This video is for white belts and it's for drills. Sensei Mister is joining me today. Yay! <laughs> okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're, this is a crescent walk drill video. So we're going to start with that rear leg sweep turn, just a quick review on it. The rear leg sweep turn we do, as a white belt, we start from a front stance. You can do this way if you want. Um, so if I'm in a front stance, I'm, at my front, I'm doing it back here so you can see the line, that my front foot is on a line. When I do the rear leg sweep turn, I sweep my back foot across and then turn and face the other way. So I'm turning 180 degrees. So the back foot, when it sweeps, it stays out on the line it's on, and then you turn. Okay? So if we come a little bit closer, right about here. Okay? So to do a rear leg sweep turn, the back foot stays back, becomes the front foot when I turn. So I tur sweep that foot across, and then I turn and face it. Okay, if I'm going the other way, my left foot's in front, I'm going to take my back foot, sweep it across, and turn and face you. Okay, so that's the rear leg sweep turn. Okay, so practice that a couple of times. Here comes the magic blue screen. All right, so now some white belt level crescent walk drills. We're going to back up, and we're going to start just with lunge punches. So we're going to start out with our left side in front, and our left punch out, we're aiming center torso, so solar plexus. Okay, so we're gonna crescent walk and punch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go backwards just one time. Ready? Go. And now we're gonna do our rear leg sweep turn. So our hands come to a double guard. We sweep that foot and we turn. And now we go the other way. We're doing one punch, right? Ready? One, two, three. And we're going to do our rear leg sweep turn. Ready? Turn. Okay? And then we would add a key eye on that turn if we were drilling as a group. Okay? So just a couple more lunge punches. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. And practice that about 20 times on a side. All right, good. Now we're going to do reverse punches. So we won't do as many probably this time because you guys get the idea. Okay? So we're going to do reverse punches. So our rear hand is out, aiming center torso. Ready? One, two, three, four. Hands in a double guard. We're going to rear leg sweep turn. Ready? Turn. Put your reverse punch out. And one, two, three, four. And hands in a double guard. We're going to turn. Ready? Turn. Put your reverse punch out. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you guys keep going. Good. All right. Now we're going to do front stance, crescent walk with upward blocks. And we'll just do a few. So we're just going to come toward you. You're going to do the rear leg sweep turn on your own. Okay, so if you're doing this, you might get to do one or two and then turn if you're in your living room. If you have more space, do more. But practice that turn. Make sure you're getting that in there. We're just going to come towards you with upward blocks. So we're going to start with our left foot in front, and we're going to put our left upward block up. So make sure your chamber hand comes all the way to chamber. And remember to take the crescent step. Don't rise up as you move. Bend your knees. Okay? So here we go. We're going to do upward blocks. We prepare. We take our crescent step and get our stance. We do our block. We prepare. We take our crescent step and get our stance. We do our block. So all the way through. One, two, three. Good. All right. Do that about ten times on a side. Okay. All right. And now we'll do the downward block. So, downward block. Crescent walking. Left side's in front. 
Downward block is down. Again, we prepare our hands, take our step, and then we do our block. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, All right, so we did upward blocks, downward blocks, we did lunge punch and reverse punch. So now some of the other blocks mixed with our front stance. We're going to start with the, <coughs> the forearm block. So our left side is in front, we're going to put our left forearm block out, and we're going to move through. Again, we prepare, and then we step, and then we do the block. So we prepare, crescent step, block. Prepare, crescent step, block. All the way through. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And practice that one. Okay, and now we're going to do the outward block. Right, so the outward block with our front stance. Here we go. Left side ahead, preparing our outward block. That's our outward block, okay? So our lead hand is blocking again. So here we go. We prepare, we take our step, we block. We prepare, we take our step, and we block. So all the way through, one, two, three, Four, five, good, keep going. Do about 10 or 15. All right, very good. So those are your basic blocks, your four basic white belt blocks, and your crescent walk. Just a quick reminder about the blocks. Keep in mind what e part of your body each block is protecting and make sure it does that when you're practicing. So it's hard once you start to put your hands and your feet together, but you do have to remind yourself of what the point is, okay? It's not just waving your hands and your feet around, but you're blocking to protect yourself from a specific attack. So the upward block, you're protecting the top of your head from a strike coming down, okay? The downward block, you're protecting your lower torso, uh, solar plexus to the groin area from something coming in. So maybe a punch or a kick coming in to your stomach and you're blocking, okay? You're knocking it away, all right? The outward block, you're protecting this region, okay? This, this high part of your chest up to your chin, maybe as high as the lower, like your face under your nose, maybe, okay? But this section, and that is coming across that section and blocking that away, okay? The forearm block, you're protecting yourself from a slapping motion to the side of your head, so you're protecting up here, okay? So this one, has to be up here. So make sure your blocks are in the right place. If your upward block is over here, you're gonna get hit. If your downward block stops here, you're gonna get hit. If your outward block is too low, you're gonna get hit, okay? If your forearm block is too low, you're gonna get hit. Or if it's too high, you're gonna get hit here and under your arm, all right? So just make sure your blocks are in the right place. If you need more practice on any of that, the crescent walk, the block, the front stance, any of those, go see the videos that are on those specific things. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.